Hey, this is your favorite German compositor, Sebastian Schütt. Welcome back to Split the Diff and another episode of Nuke Timeout. Sometimes I find myself in a situation where I would like to duplicate a specific set of notes while reusing the same inputs. A simple copy-paste forces me to manually connect all the dependencies that I didn't select. I will show you a simple solution how to accomplish this automatically with some Python. And as always, you can find the scripts on my website, splitthedip.com. Are you ready? Let's go! First of all, we have to know the Python command that Nuke uses to copy and paste node selections. For that, I'm importing the Nuke module. It's not so important for an open Nuke session since the module is loaded automatically, but we will need it once we will tell Nuke to load our Python script from an external source while starting the software. With nuke.notecopy, we can copy a selection into the clipboard. For pasting, we use nuke.notepaste. My initial idea was to store our node selection in a list before copying it. When we then bring in the duplicated nodes from our clipboard, they will be selected, so we can store them in a second list. Now we could walk through that new list and cross-reference it with the first list in order to get the inputs connected again. This approach is problematic though. I select these nodes, store them in a list and use the copy command. If I now paste the new nodes, store the selection and print both lists, they match. But let me do it again. This time I select them in a different order. Now they don't match. This happens because Nuke doesn't paste the notes in the same order they were selected for copying. Meaning there's no way to figure out in which order the user selected the notes before storing them in the clipboard. The first time I was lucky because that is actually the same order that Nuke stores the pasted notes into a list. With the last note of the tree being the first item and then moving up the tree. So we have to come up with some other solution. How can we make sure that the pasted nodes know which nodes they have to connect with? Well, we simply let them carry over that information inside themselves. Let's set up a little function. As before, I'm collecting my selection in a list. Now I will use a for loop to go through every single node. I define an empty list first that will later store all of the node's connections. Now I set up a temp user tab as well as a multi-line knob that will print the dependencies. With the inputs method, I can check how many inputs of a node are connected to some other node. I used this information for the range command to go through and check every one of those inputs and add the name of the connected node to our collected dependencies list. If I would simply print that list into our text knob later, I would also print the brackets which are characteristic for lists. That's why I'm using the join method. This method joins all elements of the list into one string, but I'm using a separator to add commas in between. I'll paste the string into the temp user text knob. Finally, I perform the node copy command and run the function. As we can see, the selected nodes now show our temp user knobs, including the names of its respective connections. If I paste the notes from our clipboard, the duplicates carry over this information. Of course I want to get rid of those knobs on both copy and paste notes eventually. But let's jump into our Python editor to set up the final script. This is the code that we've already accomplished. The only thing left here is to remove our temp user knobs so on the outside it looks like we never touched those node properties. Also, I need to add this little try statement to check if an input is actually connected to a node or if it is disconnected entirely. In that case, I simply add the word none into our collected dependencies list. If we now leave the script as is, it would fail if we run it without any node selected. So let me add the simple if statement to check for node selections. If there aren't any, we will let Nuke pop up a message. Now we have to create our function to paste our nodes and set the connections right. Nuke.NodePaste duplicates the nodes from our clipboard. They are automatically selected so we can store them in the list paste nodes. We can now read out the content of our temp user text knob 
to see how many nodes the original node was connected to and what their names are. I'll iterate over those and set the connections. Lastly, I'll remove our user knobs. As a fail prevention, let me add an if statement that checks if those user knobs actually exist. If they don't exist, it means that we probably accidentally used a regular copy command before. So in order to prevent our script from failing, I would then just simply paste the notes and skip the whole reconnecting part, since this information would not be available to us. All right, I'll save it as copy paste with inputs.py and the only thing left to do is to add it to our new menu.py. Don't forget to import the script, aka module, we just saved. Let's also assign some shortcuts, in this case Control shift c and Control shift v Back to Nuke. Our menu commands have been successfully added. Let's select the nodes, Control shift c Let's say we want to get the duplicates over here, and Control shift v There you go. The nodes are copied over and their inputs connected to the respective nodes. Let's check our fail prevention. I have nothing selected, Control shift c and we get the error message. Great. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that little project and learned something. My name is Sebastian Schütt, and I'll see you soon.